Some people say, oh, you don't take the scriptures on suffering. Why do I have to? Because it is not from God. It comes against me. Well, God doesn't intend for you to suffer. Persecution comes from the world. If you didn't know, why does persecution come? Why wouldn't we talk about the God who is so good to us, who is all loving to us? You may have not had a good earthly father, but there have been very good earthly fathers. I know, I had an earthly father. He had some good things over my life and he had plans for my life. And he always wanted to see the best that I would do in life. How much more you that have been wicked, when you ask from your father for an egg that you would like to eat, would he give you a scorpion? Mm. And if you have a father who could be evil, and if you ask for fish, would he give you a serpent? And if you ask for bread, would he give you a rock? How much more will your heavenly father give unto them good gifts? People have a question about why don't we talk so much about persecution and sufferings which brings glory and honor to God. Let me show you the scripture from the book of Mark 4. It says in verse 17 where it's talking about the seed which is the word of God. The seed that is sown on four different soils that are seen here. The first one was on the wayside and the second one on a rocky and the third was also among thorns, the fourth one was on good ground. Right. So I just want to read verse 16 and 17. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. See how the word immediately is mentioned twice in these two verses. When they heard the word immediately with gladness, they received the word. But then we find the second time immediately they get offended. Right? So if you're the kind of person who has heard the word immediately and then... You have never taken time to let it be rooted in your heart. Let it be rooted in your heart to the extent where you are able to handle persecution and afflictions. Mm -hmm. That ariseth. Mm -hmm. It didn't say it comes from above. It says it arises from the earth. Mm, from the earth. So persecution, afflictions, sorrows, Troubles don't come from heaven. Yes. They arise from around us. Satan, the arch enemy of God, is an enemy mm. to you. Mm. He uses people. He uses uh, vessels. He uses all kinds of circumstances to make you feel so offended that when you are offended and when you stumble, you say, I don't have nothing to do with this. I'm so upset about this. I don't want to. I mean, if you're a spiritual person, you know that you will have certain situations that will arise mm. against you because of the word's sake, because you have the word of God mm. in your heart. Mm. Because the word of God is a God's seed which is designed to produce after its own kind. Yes. The more word you have, the more spiritual insight you have. Number one, you have faith. Number two, you have desires coming into you. Number three, you begin to see the will of God. Number four, you begin to see there are promises of God. There's so much that the word wants to accomplish in your life. 